I've always been into comedy. Um, you know, always, always like you know watching it and, and you know what have you. But uh, what inspired me to start it? Actually, uh, a girl broke up with me and just destroyed me. Just destroyed me. I was all sad. I was like, "Fuck everything," you know what I mean. And I got all depressed. And um, I went out with a friend. He, this was my first mic to ever do here uh, a few years back. And uh, it was a girl. Just a girl broke my heart. And I was like, "I'm gonna be a comic. I'm gonna show her," you know. <laughs> um, so was that. Yeah. She never came back around, but whatever. Mm. <laughs> I'm having more fun than her. Terrifying. It was absolutely scary as shit. I've been in, I've been at, had knives pulled on me before, like I've, you know, been in some sticky situations, but being on stage for the first few times was just terrifying, absolutely. Um, especially because um, all the comics that were in the room were established, well-known, you know, good Vegas comics. I'm like, shit, I don't know what I'm doing. I shouldn't even be here. I almost chickened out and went out the back door last minute. <laughs> um, but, um, it was scary, and then afterwards, you're like, it's not, it wasn't that bad. I actually did kind of good. I got a couple laughs. Um, and then after this butterfly scariness goes away, then you feel like powerful, kind of. You're like, I did it, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so it's, at first it was terrifying. <laughs> I really like uh, Felipe Esparza's new one, which I pirated. I mean, probably shouldn't say that because um, I don't have HBO anymore. <laughs> so um, I like Felipe Esparza's. I forget what it's called. He has one called "They're Not Gonna Laugh at You," which is hilarious. That's I'd probably say that one. And then his newer one's pretty good. And then I like um, uh, comedy albums. I'd have to say it's uh, it's either me or the Priest by Joey Diaz. That's what the name of the album's called. It's, Joey Diaz is one of my favorite comics ever. Um, I like uh, a couple of those Rogan specials too, Talking Monkeys in Space is a good one, and the one Rocky Mountain High where he's in uh, Colorado, I believe, yeah, right. um, that was a great one as well. If I had to pick a favorite though, ah, that's a tough choice, man. I'd probably say it's Diaz, You, Me, or The Priest, yeah. I like workaholics a lot. I got really into workaholics. Um, obviously, it's always sunny is really funny. I like that show a lot. I like silly comedy movies, like what, not like just um, I, Will Ferrell. I like Will Ferrell a lot. Um, what's that guy with the beard? Galifianakis. He's funny as hell. I saw him actually do comedy once before too in California, way before I ever thought of doing comedy. This was years ago. Um, so just silly, silly bro comedy movies like that. You know what I mean? Um, stuff like that. I don't know if you'd call it sketch, uh, but uh, what's Impractical Jokers? Would you call that sketch? Oh yeah, I would. I would say that. Yeah, I could watch that for. I could watch that for days. I have been actually. Hey, I'll record it when I'm out of the house, and you know, so I could have it there. And it's. I like. I like those guys. They're really funny as well. Joey Diaz for sure. Yeah, just because I'm a pot smoker. He's a. You know. You, you know. He, this is a crazy dude. I don't think he drinks as much as me, but um, it just, it just, it, I look up to that guy so much. Just, I've met him a few times before. He's played at the South Point and the, you know, the uh, MGM with Rogan a couple times. Um, and, but when I meet him, I get all, he's like one of the only comics I get super, like, starstruck, you know what I mean? And he's not even really that famous. You know, most persons, like, doesn't really know who he is, you know, unless they know comedy a lot. Uh, but uh, yeah, it would probably be Joey T.S. I would want to be roasted by Tom Segura just because he's brutally honest and I, like, he's just, I feel like he'd murder me. Uh, you said five of them, let's see, so Segura, I'm gonna say Diaz again just because I think that would be cool as hell. Um, Anthony Jeselnik, he's a really awesome roaster so I think it'd be an honor to get roasted by Jeselnik. Um, let's see, who else? Well, of course Jeffrey Ross, that would be great. Um, and um, last one, Someone brutal, someone that, uh, Doug Stanhope, that'd be cool, yeah. <laughs> On tour with Joey Diaz, no, <laughs> that would be cool. Uh, in the next five years, hopefully I'm, um, on the road, um, I just came back from Arizona. I did a couple shows out there at the Orpheum Theater in Flagstaff. Beautiful place. They always shoot us good. I just like being on the road. A few weeks before that, I did Idaho, Utah. I just want to be a traveling, working road comic, like where I, you know, see all 
you know, the, the big names around here, Sam Talents, one of the bigger ones around here, he's on the road like every day. He's, yet he lives in Vegas, but he's only in Vegas like a couple times a month. And when he's here, he's busy at the book stuff, you know? Um, so I just, I just want to be a successful road comic with a strong following. Obviously, I got to keep hitting these mics to get better, but uh, that'd be nice in five years. That'd be cool. I've tried to do improv before. I don't think I'm very strong at it, so, so I'd like to do see if how strong I could get in that. You know, what I mean, there's a couple of comics around here in Vegas who are like better at sketch, like they're improv rather than than I think they are on stage. You know what I mean? <laughs> but but they're really strong at sketch. I was like, I can I can't do that. You know what I mean? Um. So oh Jesus Christ! There's one of my my young ladies back here. Um. So yeah, I'd probably need to get stronger in, in, in sketch, or improv rather, keep saying sketch. Facebook, Victor Hernandez Comedy. Um, I'm on Twitter, uh, Vegas underscore Victor. And then I'm on um, Instagram, Victor Hernandez Comedy. I had a website, VictorHernandezComedy.com, but it hasn't been maintenance or anything in probably about a year or so, so it looks a little rough. <laughs> but yeah, you can follow me. I'm on social media constantly. I post everywhere I'm at every night if I'm posting, feature wherever I'm at, whatever city. So yeah, my Facebook and my Twitter is probably easiest way to find me. to be happier just, just just to be in a good mood uh just to think about things a little bit different a little dirtier you know what i mean <laughs> just you know um just going out and being like holy shit i didn't that was that was i feel better what was i pissed off about before early in the day you know and just just have a good time i'm the las vegas based comedian victor hernandez uh check out acutiepie.com